Yo, this is Delusional. I hope you guys are doing well today. For this video, I wanted to showcase my thought process as to how I'm actually playing against the opponent. So, I'll be showcasing my replay, and I'll be pausing or either replaying the rewind portions of the video, and from there, I'll then explain my thought process as I'm doing X and Y and Z against the opponent. I'm sorry that I don't have this in a different format because I don't really have a media file or a media application that allows me to rewind things without it stuttering or freezing over me. So I can only really do it in the replays. So let's get to it. In that scenario, I wasn't really sure if the Reyna was going to try and go for a full crash down forward 4. And from there, I attempted to go into my up forward 1. Now, as I got hit with the follow-up move, with this move, she goes for her combos, but she ends up messing up. This tells me that she doesn't really know how to properly combo well, or she's very intense, that she's very stressed. So, as I get up, I engage, I don't immediately go in or start mashing buttons, I just start creating space, right? Then I go for up forward one. And then test to see whether or not if she's gonna go for her down forward two, or should I say if I test to see if she's gonna be mashing me. So I go for my CD two. I go for my combo here, but then I fail. Then she ends up delaying the last set of her move. Now I'm not sure if the move was gonna be a high, but I still attempted to then duck to see whether or not if the last hit was going to be a high. I ended up guessing right. I continue the pressure, she does this, I immediately react to the fact that she was going to either do some kind of mid move or high move, she ends up going for her health sweep. Now from what I know is that while she's doing her health sweep, if she does health sweep into I believe it's the 1 or 2 button, I can duck that move. But if I don't duck it, I only end up blocking it. In this case, she ends up going for Hell Sweep into 4, which the 4 actually tracks from the side that I was actually trying to get away from. But I ended up ducking to block the move. Here I finish it off, go into my Heat Burst, and then go for the final hit. Again, I continue to engage. What I'm going to do now is I end up sidestepping her from there. I wasn't sure if she's going to go for something like that. It there was a close call that I couldn't I could have gotten hit by that move, but I immediately sidestepped and I got lucky. I made the proper read there. I continue to then backpedal into in Manji stance to go for 4 1 plus 2. There I ended up trying to go for my my Indian stance to go into my 3 plus 4. Now, I didn't properly gauge the distance between me and the Reina, so I ended up not only going into my Manji stance, which I shouldn't have done, and then she ends up clicking me. She gets that for free, she goes for my low, I go for down forward 2, assuming that she's gonna go for something else. And then I, as a dumbass, I thought, okay. She's not going to throw anything else. She's not going to throw a type of mid move or a high crushing move that will catch me off guard. So I ended up going for back one. If it would have worked, that means that I'm plus, I think I'm plus five when I use back one on hit. I know on block is plus one. So I could still probably uh, continue my turn and do something else. But since she ended up going for a high crush move, I end up eating that attack. Right here, she intended to go for her electric, but she fucked up. I go for my down forward two as I ended up sidestepping her, but I messed up the actual proper combo. Then from here, this is a setup. This is actually a setup. I end up going into my Kencho stance since he was already fully knocked down. I can do Kencho into forward one. Forward one on a grounded opponent ends up flipping them. Not like just hitting them while they're on the ground, but it also flips them. So they have limited choices as to what they can do on wake up. They can't do a recovery kick. They can't do a spring kick. They only have access to mid kicks and low wake up kicks. Or just simply just side rolling away if they want to do that as well. 
So I end up going for my Samurai Cutter to try to bait her into a setup, but she ends up staying grounded. Continue engaging, I disengage, calling space. I ended up making the right read here, but for some reason I got hit. See, I ended up ducking it, but for some reason I got hit by the follow-up move. End up failing there with my wolf standing 2-1 to go into Monty stance. And here I assume she was going to go follow with a low, but she didn't. There again, she's go for Hell Sweep. She assumed that, that if I was knocked down, that I'll end up eating up the Hell Sweep. But since I rolled away, I got up. You see again. And then I ended up fully holding down Crouch so that I can then end up either one or two things. Again, if she's going for Hell Sweep, she has two choices. She either has the high Palm Strike move, the follow up from the Hell Sweep, or she has the second Hell Sweep low kick. So. Regardless of what she ends up doing in this, in this situation, I'm already option selecting two moves. I'm already ducking the high if she goes for the high, and if she goes for the low, I can block it and go for a massive launch. I mess up here, but I still get the ender there. I go into my no sword stance, assuming that she may get caught by something. Again, same scenario, but for another setup. And then I follow up with my full crush on 4 4. Round four. Fight. See, I, here I ended up going from Monty Stance to go into forward 1 plus 2. So I have other several choices that I can do here. Since I did that move, I'm trying to see if the opponent will try to either try to attack me. Usually, when this move is done, most players would either mash but I wasn't sure whether or not the Reyna would end up mashing me. So what I did instead is that I checked her to see if she will do something, so I went for down forward one. The show again. See, she ends up attacking, but she didn't go for an immediate attack. She didn't go for a, an immediate one neutral jab or two neutral jab or whatever. She ends up going for this move. So since I was right to make the read to not go for flash, because that's what usually what Yoshimitsu tends to do when they go for Manji forward 1 plus 2, they go for flash to test out if they will end up mashing. She didn't mash. She thought of what she was going to do and went for that kick. And then I checked her with down forward 1. Here I end up getting caught by the initial hit that comes after. Here she goes for a grab. I was going to sidestep here, but then since I knew she's like a, well, I didn't know she was going to grab me. I was only going to assume whether or not she'll do something, so I sidestepped her. But since she grabbed me, I immediately reacted to it and went for a two break. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to lie to you. I can't fucking tell if it was a two break or not. I just mashed two so I can break the grab. Because this is the thing, I'm going to mention that in another, another video, but I, I immediately reacted to the grab and I ended up mashing two and I guessed right. I go for back 2-2, two, two, assuming that she may press there, but she didn't. Again, I'm en engaging her to see what she will be doing. I catch her off guard there. You see, here I, ca I caught her. She ended up going for the low. And then as I ended up flash ducking, this is one of the things I always wanted to mention, is that flash ducking is a very, very good technique. Now, what flash ducking is, and I'm sure again, right here, she attacks me, and you saw that, right? As soon as I ended up ducking, I'm gonna end up editing it so that you can see exactly what I did, if you didn't really see it. So what I did was is that I ended up flash ducking. Now flash ducking, what that is, is that when you are trying to immediately duck an opponent's move and then stand right back up. This does two things for you. One, if you're ducking immediately, this is to preemptively see if the opponent might try going to try to go for a high, or to then flash duck to maybe block a low, since I wasn't sure if she was going to go for a low move again. So I flash duck there and then see that she ends up going for a move that actually can be crushed with a crouching move. So I did that, and then here, let me go back. Flash ducked right here, 
go from back two into my one. Now back two into one usually, usually, I believe on counter hit it does give you a free one, the launching one that just happened right there. But in most cases, even if on counter hit, it doesn't launch for your opponent. So she wasn't sure. Either she did one of two things. Either it does counter hit and launches, because even I'm not too sure about this particular move at times. Or thirdly, I think I already said the second part, but the thirdly is that she tried to duck the back 2-2. Two, two. Back 2-2, two, two, the last 2, is a high and can be ducked. Now, on hit, it can be ducked, but on block, it can but since I attacked her and hit her with back two, she only has one other choice. Either she preemptively tries to duck my move if I end up going for the one, but I'm going to assume that she didn't duck and she just let go of the controller and she got hit by the one. I go from something fancy, I go into meditation stance to create space. I go for Kensho forward one, because I'm assuming that she is going to go for a wall running move, but she didn't. She ended up spacing well. She got patient. She catched me off guard right there. I go for spring kick, because I wasn't sure I was going to go for a hell sweep. Then I catch her again. She goes for a dick jab. I go for down three. Now, the reason why I did down three, because she's almost dead here, I believe. I actually had to show the HUD. I don't know why I'm not showing the HUD. Yeah, she's almost dead. Again, I'm checking her again, and then she did the wrong move. So what she did there essentially is that the weird crouching double kick move, the follow-up move that comes after that is minus 14. So I did my down forward 4. Down forward 4, if I remember correctly, is 12 frames on startup or 13 frames on startup? I think it's 12 frames on startup. So since she ends up using a 14 frame move or a minus 14 frame move, I ended up going for my down forward 4 to end the round. So that's essentially what happened in the overall gameplay. I'm going uh, again state this. This is new to me. I don't really do this uh, for the fact that one, it's difficult to try to demonstrate what's going on in a fight without pausing every single time and that can ruin the whole experience for the people that are viewing the video. That's one. Two, I dislike the fact that the that Bandai Namco can't even add a hide function so you can hide the HUD so when you're pausing so that way you can still see what's going on on game. So I don't know why they don't have that shit in. But yeah, this is this is the most that I can do. Besides maybe using the Unreal Engine Unlocker to do that, but I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea to do that. So I'm just not going to do it. So either way, point is... The way that I play is that I try to gauge the opponent. I only make reads if I know for sure if the opponent will do something. But my reads are not 100% perfect. Sometimes I'll make mistakes. Sometimes during the heat of the moment, I'll mess up. But right there, the Reina, since she wasn't very experienced against Ryoshi Mitsu, I ended up using that against her. So that's about the video. If you guys enjoyed what you watch, give it a like. Please subscribe if you want to see more of my shit. And stay tuned if you want to see more of this kind of um, type of content. And yeah, see ya.